I'm Thomas DeMeo, and we're thrilled to have you here. We're so excited about what the future holds, and we've invested a lot to make you successful with Google Cloud, so you can build applications faster and more secure than ever. You may have heard Thomas Curian talk about how we offer prescriptive guidance with an opinionated approach to solve developer velocity challenges. In today's session, I'm going to show you how exactly we do this by highlighting how Google Cloud lets you deliver secure applications in an open manner. Even though working remotely has become the norm, working faster remotely and across distributed teams continues to be a challenge. Typical friction points include onboarding rote employees, setting up dev and test environments, and long build times, just to name a few. When it comes to security, code and data exfiltration risks are key. This is especially true in sensitive and regulated environments. Customers tell us that current solutions to secure dev environments can add developer friction to the experience. For example, streaming-based solutions may introduce unwanted latency, and running your specific containers may not be fully supported. Solving developer velocity challenges requires a two-pronged approach. How do we not only make it easier for developers to build applications, but also easy for IT admins to securely scale in dev environments? To address this, I'm excited to announce the availability of cloud workstations. Think of cloud workstations as providing pre-configured but customizable developer environments in the cloud with your favorite dev tools pre-installed and up to date. Cloud workstations come with multi-IDE support, such as IntelliJ, PyCharm, Rider, CLion, CodeOSS, and others as part of this fully managed experience. And since cloud workstations can run inside the same network as your other resources, you don't need to emulate services or databases, which can save hours by developing and running code in your staging environment. Cloud Workstations enables consistent developer definitions among developers, with all environments defined via containers, fixing the, well, it works on my machine problem. Increasing developer velocity is incomplete without having the right security controls in place for remote developers. This is why Cloud Workstations has enterprise-grade security requirements built right in. This starts with VPC service controls, where you can limit developer access to sensitive areas. You can update or patch your environments so that developers get the most up-to-date version. And you can also use a fully private gateway so that only trusted users within your network have dev access. Cloud workstations can provide security capabilities as you code, which can be extended to other parts of your software supply chain, from build dependency, management to deployment. On the product side, we are taking those efforts to the next level with the launch of Software Delivery Shield. Software Delivery Shield provides a fully managed end-to-end -end software supply chain security. This starts with the IDE and includes CI-CD pipelines, deploy time policies, and runtime security posture. So while you're focused on writing code, Software Delivery Shield, or SDS, is helping to make sure your organization's security policy is consistently enforced across the software delivery process, enabling you to develop faster. Specifically, SDS adds new security capabilities in four major areas. First, to shift left into the IDE, we are launching Cloud Code Source Protect, a private preview IDE extension which helps you better understand open source vulnerabilities, and licenses to go faster by avoiding costly and frustrating rework down the road. Second, when it comes to securing dependencies, we're excited to announce our Assured Open Source Software Service. It scans for known vulnerabilities, analyzes and fuzz tests over 250 packages across Java and Python. These packages are built using Google secured pipelines to help external dependency risks and come with remediation SLAs. Third, SDS helps secure CI CD with Cloud Build, which now supports Salsa Level 3. For those unfamiliar, Salsa is an emerging standard that incorporates best practices for software supply chain integrity. 
Cloud Build provides verifiable build provenance to help you trace a binary to its source and build process to prevent tampering and prove the artifact you're using is legit. Fun fact, provenance is not just available for containers, but for Java Maven packages as well. Lastly, SDS can extend security protection into Cloud Run and GKE. Cloud Run Security Panel now includes software supply chain security insights. This provides information such as salsa level on the running container images, build provenance, and service vulnerabilities. To help protect Kubernetes workloads, GKE Security Posture Management provides opinionated foundational guidance into your GKE clusters. We do this by providing detailed security assessments, actionable re remediation advice, and scanning for OS vulnerabilities in your running images. We're integrating the platform to further help drive speed and efficiency. For instance, Cloud Deploy can make continuous delivery for Cloud Run much simpler. Promote from pre-prod to prod, conduct rollbacks, and manage gate promotion approvals in a cohesive and intuitive interface. With the new Cloud Run integrations, you can connect Cloud Run with Google Cloud Services fast. For example, configuring domains with a load balancer or connecting to a Redis cache is now as easy as a single click. And by the way, we have more scenarios on the way. With these enhancements, you no longer need to be an expert in scaling, securing, or managing your pipelines or connecting to other Google Cloud Services. We've also been focused on helping remove barriers across our data platform, allowing developers to build data-driven applications faster. After all, data often powers the most impactful experiences. We're providing integration with Vertex AI, our AI ML platform. This enables inferencing directly within the database transaction. In addition, we're announcing in preview Spanner integration with Vertex AI. This integration allows data scientists to build their models easily in Vertex AI and developers to access those models using the SQL query language. It's a great time to be a developer because software is enabling businesses to reimagine how they're providing more engaging experiences. And doing this with the peace of mind that security is embedded at every step of the way. And everything I just described was designed to help you focus on what you love, writing code fast. We're excited to create this future together. Thanks for joining us. My name is Jun Yang, VP of Cloud AI and Industry Solutions. And I'm Sudhir Hasbe. I'm Senior Director of Product Management for Data Analytics at Google Cloud. The last few years have led us to a tipping point with AI adoption, where we have seen the impact of AI across more and more organizations and more and more use cases. Organizations from many industries and varying level of ML expertise are solving business critical problems with AI, from com creating compelling customer experience to optimizing operations to automating routine tasks. These organizations learn to innovate faster and ultimately get ahead in the marketplace. But how do they get there? AI is hard, fundamentally hard. First, the challenge start with data. It is a challenge to manage its growth and complexity. It is a challenge to prepare data for AI and ML usage. Second, AI expertise is scarce. How many AI experts do you need to get your first model into production? What about the next set of use cases? And finally, if you have all the pieces in place, the road from prototype to production can still take months, if not years. How can you scale faster with confidence? I'm proud to announce the general availability of Big Lake to help you break the data silos and unify your data lakes and warehouses. Big Lake will also support Apache Iceberg, which is becoming the standard for open source table formats for your data lakes. And soon we will also add support for other formats like Delta Lake and Hudi. Our built-in support for Apache Spark in BigQuery will allow data practitioners to create BigQuery stored procedures, unifying their work in Spark 
with their SQL pipelines. As of today, over 800 software partners power their applications using our data cloud and 40 data platform partners like DBT, Data IQ, and Tableau support BigQuery through certified integrations. And customer adoption continues to grow fueled by the ecosystem initiatives like Data Cloud Alliance. Now we know 80 to 90% of data you have today is unstructured. This includes your images, your video files, your audio files. Today we are announcing support for unstructured data in BigQuery through object tables. Object tables enable you to take advantage of common security and governance across your data. You can now build data products that unify structured and unstructured data in BigQuery. Today we are announcing support for unstructured data in BigQuery through object tables. Object tables enable you to take advantage of common security and governance across your data. You can now build data products that unify structured and unstructured data in BigQuery. This makes BigQuery one-stop solution to store, manage, and process all types of data at global scale. So in a nutshell, to overcome data complexity challenges, we are bringing lakes and warehouses together with Big Lake and providing support for open formats. We are unifying structured, semi-structured, and unstructured data workloads into BigQuery. Openness, unification, and trust are the foundation of intelligent data-driven organization. Google Cloud addresses this challenge head-on by offering a wide range of capabilities that can increase the reach of AI ML to more users and help your scarce resource, your data scientists, to achieve greater productivity. Organizations can start with our out-of-box API, like translation, transcription, and many more, where developers can directly apply Google's state-of-the-art AI to quickly solve real-world problems without the need to build AI models themselves. When you want to work with your own data to build custom models, Vertex AI offer a range of uh, ML tools to help you to build, deploy, and manage ML models. This includes the ability to start from scratch to create a fully custom models or build on top of or one of our existing models and then fine tune them for your particular needs. Starting with BigQuery ML, a SQL interface that unlocks ML capability for data analysts and simple ways to be able to build and train their models. As you had heard from Sudhir, BigQuery will support unstructured data, which means BigQuery ML would also work with unstructured data. You can now bring your own model or use a model that's pre-trained by Google directly on BigQuery object tables. The results can be stored and managed in BigQuery for further analysis or deployed to Vertex AI for real-time prediction. For users who want more control over ML, we recently announced an exciting announcement for AutoML workflows, which allows you selectively modify each step in the model building and the deployment process and be able to tweak custom tweaks uh, for, uh, for your AutoML and giving you more control working with AutoML. We will start with structured data and expand support to unstructured data in the coming months. TabNet is a powerful algorithm developed by Google researchers that leverage neural nets for tabular data. Today, we're adding TabNet to workflow to make it easier for organization to work at a massive scale without sacrificing the explainability or accuracy. For some workloads, faster is what it's all about. I am excited to introduce Vertex AI Vision, a revolutionary end-to-end -end computer vision application development service that helps you to be able to reduce the amount of time it takes to build computer vision application from days to minutes at a fraction of the cost. With an easy to use drag and drop interface and pre-trained model for common tasks, Vertex AI Vision is the one-stop shop to build, deploy, manage computer vision application. So how did they get there? Scaling data and AI across an organization first requires strong data governance and management. And secondly, in order to move from data to AI efficiently across use cases, organizations also need to streamline end-to-end -end processes from preparing data to building, deploying, and maintaining machine learning models. To further these capabilities, we are announcing various innovations to Dataplex, 
our intelligent data fabric. Dataplex helps organizations centrally manage and govern distributed data. Today, we are introducing data lineage, so you can get complete end-to-end -end lineage from ingestion of data to analysis to machine learning models. Data quality will enable you to gain confidence in your data, which is critical to get accurate predictions. And more importantly, Dataplex is now fully integrated with Big Lake, so you can now manage fine-grained access across the organization at scale. Let's recap for a moment. We have discussed how our data cloud helps you unify data to address the challenges of data complexity and silos. With this, organizations are well positioned to adopt AI with built-in services for a wide range of use users and use cases. This is critical to mitigating the skills gap challenge and embedding AI into your organization. And finally, end-to-end -end data governance and centralized MLOps helps you scale AI so you can address more use cases and drive results across your business. We hope you have enjoyed the session. Thank you so much for attending. I'm Andy Goodmans, General Manager and VP of Engineering for Databases at Google Cloud. And I'm excited to share with you what's next for builders and data engineers. At Google Cloud, our mission is to accelerate every organization's ability to digitally transform. And a large part of that is helping customers innovate faster with a unified, open, and intelligent data platform. We do this by focusing on four key areas. First, a unified and integrated data cloud for all your data. Second, a commitment to openness, leveraging open source and open standards. Third, infusing AI and ML across data-driven workflows. And lastly, empowering builders to be more productive and impactful. Let's start with the first focus area, creating a unified and integrated data cloud for your operational and analytical data. The way we've built our core services such as Cloud Spanner, Bigtable, AlloyDB, and BigQuery is truly differentiated. These services leverage Google's common infrastructure, which is unique in the industry. Our highly scalable distributed storage system, our disaggregated compute and storage, and our high-performance Google-owned global networking allow us to provide industry-leading tightly integrated operational and analytical data services. Building on this, customers need to have easy movement of data within the data cloud. We heard you, and that's why we announced in preview Data Stream for BigQuery. Data Stream for BigQuery provides easy replication of data from operational database sources such as AlloyDB, Postgres, MySQL, and Oracle directly into BigQuery. This is special because we worked closely with the BigQuery team to develop an optimized integration to replicate database updates in real time at very low latency. Setup is just a few simple clicks. To continue on this theme of easy data replication from operational databases for use cases like analytics, event-based architectures, compliance or archival, we're announcing today in preview Big Table Change Streams. This capability joins our already existing, recently launched Spanner Change Streams. With Change Streams, you can track writes, updates, and deletes so that they can be replicated to downstream systems in real time. The second focus area is our continued commitment to open source and open standards for increased flexibility and portability without vendor lock-in. We offer managed services that are fully compatible with the most popular open source engines, such as MySQL, Postgres, and Redis. Postgres, an open source database, has emerged as the leading alternative to legacy proprietary databases because of its rich functionality, ecosystem extensions, and enterprise readiness. It's not surprising that millions of users across industries have adopted Postgres. 
we're focused on making Google Cloud the best place to run your Postgres workloads. We offer you not one, not two, but three fully managed services that support the Postgres interface. First, Cloud SQL for Postgres. It is our enterprise-ready, fully managed relational database service. You get the same experience of open source Postgres with the strong manageability, availability, and security capabilities of Cloud SQL. And you can use the same service APIs to also manage your MySQL and SQL Server databases. Second, AlloyDB is our fully managed Postgres compatible database service, ready for your top tier workloads and for modernizing your legacy proprietary databases in the cloud. In our performance tests, AlloyDB is more than four times faster than open source Postgres and two times faster than Amazon's comparable Postgres compatible service for transactional workloads. It also delivers up to 100 times faster analytical queries than standard Postgres. And open isn't just about our technology, it's also about developing an open ecosystem of partners. AlloyDB already integrates with many leading technology solutions and has a fast growing ecosystem of partners with expertise ready to support your deployments. And finally, we've also added a Postgres interface for Spanner, our transformative relational database with unlimited global scale, strong external consistency, and up to five nines availability. With the Postgres interface for Spanner, developers can take advantage of familiar tools and skills from the Postgres ecosystem. And to further democratize access to Spanner, we recently announced a free trial to give builders an easy way to try out Spanner at no cost. Get started building with Spanner today. The third focus area is around how we are infusing AI and ML across data-driven workloads. We use AI and ML across our database technologies to make our services more intelligent. Capabilities such as Cloud SQL cost recommenders and AlloyDB Autopilot enable DBAs and DevOps teams to manage performance and capacity for large fleets of databases. In addition to infusing AI and ML into our databases, we're providing integration with Vertex AI, our AI and ML platform, to enable model inferencing directly within the database transaction. I'm therefore excited to announce today, in preview, the integration of Vertex AI with Spanner. You can now use a SQL query in Spanner to call a model in Vertex AI. With this integration, both AlloyDB and now Spanner can simply call Vertex AI models using SQL in operational transactions, allowing data scientists to build their models easily in Vertex AI and developers to access these models using the SQL query language. Our final focus area is around empowering builders to be more productive with innovative, one-of-a-kind developer experiences. We've introduced Cloud SQL Query Insights for Postgres and MySQL. In addition, we make Cloud SQL Cost Recommenders generally available and introduce Postgres System Insights in preview. Today, we're excited to announce the preview of security and performance recommenders for Cloud SQL. So now, let's hear from Scott Wong, VP of Infrastructure at Credit Karma, to learn how they've reduced operational burden and cost with Google's Data Cloud. Scott, welcome. We're glad to have you here today. Thanks for having me, Andy. Excited to be here. Tell me, Scott, who is Credit Karma and why did you choose Google Cloud? In 2007, Credit Karma was founded during the last housing crisis with a mission to be the consumer technology platform focused on helping our members achieve financial progress. And over the last 15 years, we've really built this around free credit scores, providing over 4 billion credit scores to our consumers across the US, UK, and Canada. And today, nearly 130 million members use our product. But financial progress to our members means much more than just credit reports. We are the go-to destination for everything related to financial goals. And to provide this, we provide personalized data-driven insights to our members to feel more confident about their major money decisions. And at the center of these insights is our data models and data systems, all being powered by Google Cloud Services today. How are you using Google's Data Cloud today for your key use cases? And what are some business benefits you've achieved by moving to Google Cloud? 
One, we really focused on making our data scientists as efficient as possible. And that meant simplifying access to our users' feature store, as well as deploying their models as quickly as possible. To give you some sense of scale, today we deploy over 700 models a week, as opposed to pre-cloud, it was almost 10 a quarter. Additionally, in experimentation, we do over 7x more experiments today than we did before cloud. And with the help of Bigtable and BigQuery, we have 10x more features deployed daily through our batch data. These gains can be attributed to what we call our unified model training, powered by BigQuery, Bigtable, Dataflow, and Google's AI platform. Thank you so much for that conversation, Scott. I really appreciate you joining us today. Thank you for having me, Andy, and I enjoyed being part of Google Next. As you can see from all we've spoken about today, the future of data has endless possibilities. Tune in to all our sessions at Next for more details on the announcements you heard today. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of Next. Hello, I'm Sachin Gupta, VPGM for Infrastructure at Google Cloud. The roles of enterprise architects and developers are evolving. Not only do you have to keep the lights on, you are expected to stay on top of the ever-changing trends and technologies that create business value. And you have to do all of this while lowering costs and improving performance, so IT infrastructure runs quickly and smoothly. Your role is critical to a successful transformation. With Google Cloud, you can innovate faster and more easily while optimizing costs. We know organizations like yours still have a lot of infrastructure to migrate, and we are committed to helping you migrate more securely and efficiently. Global customers and local partners like Palo Alto Networks, H&M, and Major League Baseball rely on us to deliver scalable, high-performing, highly available cloud infrastructure and services. AI is in our DNA. From AI-powered search to YouTube recommendation engines and Google Assistant, Cloud TPU v4 delivers industry-leading ML training performance and scale. With six terabits per second interconnect, you can run large-scale training workloads up to 80% faster and up to 50% cheaper compared to alternatives. We're also announcing new A2 Ultra GPUs built on NVIDIA's A180 gig GPUs with high-speed memory. Today, we are announcing a new industry consortium, the Open XLA project, that will unite an ecosystem of leading machine learning compiler technologies and accelerate and simplify machine learning innovation. These open source AI contributions enable you to take your AI idea and turn it into reality easily and at low cost. Cloud Armor is another security innovation that provides advanced ML-powered DDoS and WAF protection for web apps, services, and APIs. It has prevented some of the largest DDoS attacks on the planet with zero impact to customers. Recently, the largest HTTPS attack was staged against a Cloud Armor customer. It was 76% larger than anything previously reported the equivalent of Wikipedia's daily requests in 10 seconds. And the customer experienced no impact. And for regulated industries with stringent and country-specific requirements, we offer controls to meet your digital sovereignty objectives. Since transformation takes different forms for different industries, we partner with customers to build industry-leading, innovative solutions. In media and entertainment, we provide solutions to customers like Unext, with streaming built on the same Google infrastructure, we've tested and tuned to serve YouTube's 2 billion users globally. To get a better picture of how our media and entertainment industry customers innovate with Google Cloud, I'm proud to introduce Senior Vice President, Technical Infrastructure of Major League Baseball, Truman Boys. Major League Baseball's technology mission is to connect with our fans. Our infrastructure team has historically maintained applications on-prem 
And now we have unlimited compute from the public cloud. And this allowed us to shut down four data centers, modernize all of our infrastructure, and to spin things up rapidly. And in the off season, we scale it back. Google's cloud helps us to understand the entire fan journey and artificial intelligence allows us to derive a better connection to them. We're able to have personalized content with that fan. It gets richer over time as we learn more about them. Working with Google, we're preserving the history of baseball, going back into the 1940s, and we're able to make highlights available to our fans. Google Cloud hosts all of these video clips for us. And now we have an opportunity to enrich this format beyond what it is today. We're looking to modernize the entire platform that we have and move into delivery through Media CDN. Major League Baseball and Google Cloud are connecting with our fans, so that experience is happening in venue as well as a digital experience, and we're knocking it out of the park. Thank you so much, Truman. It is amazing to see how MLB is innovating for the fan experience, leveraging Google technologies like AI, media CDN, and the reliability and elasticity of our global infrastructure. We've shared a number of ways in which we've built our infrastructure to enable transformation. But we also continue to build solutions and products tuned to support your top workloads and data applications. And we've optimized these for both performance and cost. One example of this is Google Cloud VMware Engine. VMware Engine is a fully managed native Google service that helps you lift and shift your VMware applications to Google Cloud faster and easier. We are the first external provider to support VMware's Cloud Universal program, which makes it easier for you to migrate to the cloud. And with built-in point-and-click migration tools and our instant provisioning feature, you can get workloads running in your private cloud in less than one hour. We are continuing to scale VMware Engine by increasing support from 64 to 96 nodes per private cloud, all with four nines of availability in a single site and a dedicated 100 gigabit per second network. This provides high performance and reliability for your most demanding production workloads. Another example of workload optimization is a recently announced Google Cloud High Performance Computing Toolkit. HPC Toolkit is an open source tool from Google that helps you quickly and easily create repeatable turnkey HPC clusters. Next, I'm really excited to announce C3 VMs. It is the first VM on the market to feature the latest generation of Intel Sapphire Rapids processors and is built on new Intel Google co-designed Infrastructure Processing Units, or IPUs. All of this together means differentiated performance, security, isolation, and flexibility. C3 is the first VM in our fleet with 200 gigabits per second low latency networking to support a variety of workloads such as data processing, web serving, and high throughput HPC workloads. Moving on to another product built to leverage the IPU, Google Cloud Hyperdisk is the next generation of block storage, which will be available on both Compute Engine and GKE. We are decoupling block storage performance from the VM, allowing you to tune your storage performance to your workload needs. Our new flexible committed use discounts, or flex cuts, can make it easier to save and manage costs across teams by giving you region and VM family flexibility. With AutoClass, Customers like Redivis are reducing storage costs and achieving better price predictability in a simple way. It automatically transitions objects to cooler storage based on the last time they were accessed and transitions to standard storage upon access. Our new migration center can reduce complexity, time, and cost by providing key capabilities in migrating and modernizing to virtual machines, containers, or serverless computing. Dual run lets you replicate your mainframe workload in Google Cloud and run the two environments in parallel. This allows you to confirm successful operations in Google Cloud before your cutover, which can massively reduce risk. Managed instance groups, or MIGs, 
with auto scaling, use application metrics to radically simplify and improve operational efficiency, allowing you to scale in and out without manual intervention. And with the power of Google's ML, MIGS can predictably scale in and out based on historical data. These three defining pillars for Google Cloud infrastructure, transformative, optimized, and easy, are the key tenets behind our intentional engineering efforts. This is why so many customers trust Google Cloud and what helps to power such innovation across the industry. I invite you to try Google Cloud and our innovative new releases. We look forward to delighting you. Thank you. My name is Omar Gandhi, a Senior Director of Product Management from Google Cloud. And I'm joined by my colleague, Jerome Sims. Hi, Amar. And we're both excited to share with you some new products and capabilities we're introducing at Next this year. As Amar said, I'm Jerome Sims, Director of Product Management at Google. And I'm focused on Google's DevOps portfolio. It's great to be here with Amar to share these exciting updates with our DevOps, sysadmin, and operator friends. Now, Amar will kick off the session. Thank you, Jerome. At Google Cloud, our mission is to accelerate every organization's journey to digitally transform their business. And when it comes to DevOps, we serve customers of all sizes and types today. And our goal is to make DevOps on Google Cloud easy for your organization as well. And to fulfill this mission, we focus on four key areas which address the key challenges we hear from these customers every day. First is security. Security in DevOps has become increasingly critical, and we are seeing more and more hackers preying on the security vulnerabilities of your software supply chain today. Number two, multi-cloud. More and more organizations are adopting multi-cloud today, and your DevOps teams are being asked to support such multi-cloud deployments. However, this is not easy. How do we ensure efficiency, security, and consistency as we develop, deliver, and deploy across multiple clouds, this becomes a critical challenge. Number three, sustainability. Given the global climate change, all organizations are rising to the challenge. Now, Google has long been a pioneer in achieving sustainability in our internal operations. And now we want to provide tools to support sustainable development and operations for all organizations. And finally, integrating and scaling your DevOps tool chain. This is still a challenge for many organizations. And to fulfill this mission, we focus on four key areas which address the key challenges we hear from these customers every day. This year, we are launching many new products and capabilities across all of these four areas. And now I'm going to hand over to my colleague, Jerome, to tell you more. Thanks, Amar. Let's dive into some details of our announcements today to help you better protect your software supply chains, we're very excited to bring you Software Delivery Shield. Software Delivery Shield is a comprehensive yet modular set of capabilities that spans a set of Google Cloud products, delivering a fully managed end-to-end -end solution to help protect your software supply chain. To help you better secure your applications during development, we are launching Cloud Workstations a new service which provides a fully managed local development environment on Google Cloud with built-in security measures. More than that, we are also giving your developers tools to help them code faster with greater security. With Cloud Code Source Protect, developers will get real-time security feedback as they work in their IDE. When your developers are coding in Cloud Workstations, Artifact Registry and Container Analysis can give them a secure space to store and manage their container images and language packages, and also scan them for vulnerabilities. You can now do on-push scanning for Maven and Go packages in containers, and for non-containerized Maven packages as well. To help you improve the security of your open source dependencies, our Assured Open Source Software Service provides over 250 packages across Java, and Python, 
It also includes verifiable salsa build provenance. In continuing to help secure your pipelines, I'm really excited to announce Cloud Build. Our fully managed continuous integration platform now supports Salsa Level 3 builds. Finally, to help secure the runtime environment, we're introducing a new set of security features in GKE. GKE can now help assess your container security posture and give you active security guidance. It also includes many out-of-the-box security capabilities. For customers on Cloud Run, our serverless platform, we're introducing new enhancements to Cloud Run's security panel. It now displays software supply chain security insights, such as the Salsa build level compliance information, build provenance, and vulnerabilities found in running services. When your developers are building application, oftentimes they will need databases. I'm happy to introduce Cloud SQL Security Recommender. With Security Recommender, it can now automatically monitor the security posture of your databases, alert you on potential security vulnerabilities, and also provide guidance to help mitigate the risks. To make multi-cloud easier for you, we're introducing a set of new features to our Anthos platform. Anthos customers can now enjoy a unified management experience everywhere from a single Google Cloud console. And to drive consistent security, governance, and observability across a fleet of clusters spanning all environments. In addition, Anthos now supports VM deployments for your edge environments. Sustainability has been a core value of Google from the very beginning. And to help our customers develop and operate more sustainably, I'm pleased to announce that Carbon Footprint is now generally available. Carbon Footprint introduces a new level of transparency to support you in meeting your climate goals. Integrating and scaling your DevOps tool chain is a challenge for many DevOps teams. And for that, I'm happy to announce our managed service for Prometheus is now GA. With this service, there is no longer a need to federate, add resources manually, or devote time to maintaining your monitoring infrastructure. You can focus on scaling your business and not Prometheus. In addition, to make continuous deployment easier for you, we added integration between Cloud Deploy, our fully managed continuous deployment service, and Cloud Run, our leading serverless runtime environment. Log information is very useful for our DevOps teams. And to make the use of logs easier on Google Cloud, I'm excited to announce Log Analytics, a new feature of cloud logging. Through an innovative partnership with BigQuery, cloud logging now allows your DevOps teams to get more value out of the logs through the power of SQL queries. Well, everyone, that's everything I have today. Our teams work super hard to bring you all of these new products and capabilities, and I hope you're as excited about them as I am. Now, let me pass it back to Amar. Thanks, Jerome, for sharing those exciting announcements with us. With these capabilities, your organization can adopt a more secure, intelligent, and sustainable DevOps practice. On behalf of Jerome and I, we hope you have a great next 2022. My name is Sunil Pody, and I'm the VP and General Manager for Google Cloud Security. As many of you know, organizations large and small are realizing that digital transformation and the changing threat landscape requires a ground up security transformation. Attackers' tactics, techniques, and procedures have evolved as their targets have shifted and their desired outcomes have changed. Long gone are the days of a limited number of malicious nation state actors only targeting specific governments or critical infrastructure. These days, new normal is persistent attacks and off the shelf attack tooling leveraged by sophisticated threat actor gangs and nation states. And these folks are primarily focused on financial gain and business disruption across the mainstream enterprise from the mid market credit union bank to a very large enterprise in the Fortune 500. As a new member of Google Cloud family, Mannion brings expertise in threat intelligence and consulting to double down on Google's commitment to security. 
At Mandiant Threat Intelligence, we're always vigilant, tracking threat actors across the cyber domain as they seek to spy, steal, and sabotage the networks of organizations around the world. While cyber attacks used to play out completely behind closed doors, the threat has changed, and we're seeing an enormous amount of activity in full public view. State and criminal adversaries aren't just quietly hacking victims, they're creating public spectacles, which are designed to undermine the credibility of institutions and companies. Despite rumors to the contrary, ransomware is not dead. Those actors are still going strong, but the nature of their activity is always changing. Mannion and Google Cloud share a strong commitment to security and will work together to keep our customers, defenders, and the entire global community safe. Thanks, Sandra. I'm so excited that you and the Mandian team, alongside the Threat Intel team, are joining Google Cloud. Now, as many of you know, Mandian clearly shares our mission to reinvent how enterprises detect and respond to threats and incidents. Mandian's products, services, and expertise will all combine to enhance our Google Cloud security portfolio and amplify our joint vision to keep customers safe. Now, here at Google Cloud, we continue to champion invisible security to help you move from today's reality, where security is bolted on as an afterthought, to a future where cloud security is engineered in, operations are simplified, and shared responsibility evolves to a model of shared fate, where the cloud provider has true skin in the game. Now, as many of you know, Mandian clearly shares our mission to reinvent how enterprises detect and respond to threats and incidents. We are bringing the best of Google to enterprises with security solutions for your on-prem, private, or multi-cloud environments. And we are helping organizations address these top-of-mind security initiatives across a variety of dimensions, starting with cloud governance and digital sovereignty. Now, as most of you know, digital sovereignty has become top of mind for many of you internationally. Governance and sovereignty are global issues with regulations and many unique compliance requirements. So the core of Google's and Google Cloud's approach is putting our sovereign controls in your hands. Another area that needs to be reimagined by the CISO and the entire security team is security all operations all up across all your environments, cloud and on-premise. And on this journey, instead of having siloed SIM and SOAR and Threat Intel solutions, our new Google Cloud security operations solution converges security operations capabilities so that security teams can now pivot faster and manage alerts more effectively between Chronicle, SIM, SOAR, and our best-in-class threat intel. And with the addition of Mandian's leading in incident response services, in-depth threat intelligence gained from the front lines, and Mandian's Advantage platform, all of these will collectively help us accelerate your security operations transformation. This combined approach will help organizations move from not just modernizing security operations to a state of proactive cyber defense, which ultimately we believe is the future of security operations. Transforming security for me is all about how security can be a business enabler while making sure the team embraces change and leverages all the latest cloud native security controls available to us. To transform our security program, we are really focused on three key areas. Security transformation to support business growth, zero trust by default, and threat detection and response going cloud native. So we've made significant investments in our Beyond Corp Alliance alongside strategic partners such as Palo Alto and a variety of other partners in the ecosystem. This now gives you comprehensive zero trust options to secure private and SaaS app access while mitigating internet threats across managed or unmanaged devices. So now we know implicit trust that we've covered so far can create you know, an opportunity for insider threat management and other significant security risks, not only in the context of access, but also the software supply chain. In my mind, that's the last green space of potential opportunity to, to be really reimagined within an enterprise security posture. And to further help enterprises secure software supply chains, we're introducing an all new offering called Software Delivery Shield. Software Delivery Shield takes this complex challenge with a tested approach based on best practices that we use internally and to secure our own software supply chains for 100,000 plus developers here. And so to double click on a specific area, 
we have made significant progress on Assured Open Source software. Very excited to announce the preview for Assured Open Source that now provides access to the same open source software packages that Google depends on, allowing you to benefit directly from Google's own in-depth end-to-end OSS best practices. So in addition to everything I just covered, we are also releasing a wide variety of innovations across our entire security portfolio. Now, we are so excited to help you become like Google with our most trusted cloud and by bringing security magic to you wherever you are as our two fundamental pillars of cloud security here at Google. And one thing I wanted to highlight was that in this journey of modernizing security, either on GCP or wherever you are, unlike some of our peers, we are chosen to actually offer best-in-class partner capabilities in conjunction with first-party Google solutions in a cohesive experience versus an all-or-nothing capability. So in closing, you may recognize that the pace of innovation on this path to invisible security has not slowed down. In fact, if anything, it has continued to accelerate, especially with Mandiant now in the mix. So I hope you'll join us and our partners on this journey as we reinvent security to meet the requirements of tomorrow. Thanks again, stay secure, and have a great rest of next. Hello everyone, it is an honor to kick off this session as the new leader for the Google Workspace business. Some of you are current customers who use Workspace every day at work, and some of you are considering it for the first time. Regardless of which camp you're in, every time that you use Gmail or Google Chat, Calendar, Drive, Docs, Meet in your daily life, you are using Workspace. Bridging communication and collaboration across these products is the magic of Workspace. I've been leading the development of these products for the past few years, and it has been remarkable to see that Workspace has become the world's most popular productivity tool, relied on by more than 3 billion users across the planet. Our mission is to meaningfully connect people so they can create, build, and grow together. First, let's acknowledge that meetings are not going away but they can be dramatically improved. To make the most of meetings, we've introduced features like automatic light adjustments and noise cancellation so that you can look and sound your best. Companion mode gives everyone a front row seat in hybrid meetings, whether they're joining from their phone or from a conference room. And to reduce digital fatigue, we've added features like co-presenting and the ability to unpin your own video tile with smart canvas, we are taking real-time co-creation to that next level by making docs come alive. A simple app mention in a document can bring in recommended people, meetings, and data to create a flow, which allows teams to stay focused instead of switching between tools and tabs. Millions of customers have already made the move to Workspace, and I'm so inspired by their stories. Let me share just three of them. Korean Air, carries more than 27 million passengers in a given year. They adopted Workspace in July 2019 to improve internal collaboration and communication, such as more fluid exchanges between teams and leadership. They overhauled everything from email, document collaboration, and internal communication. Wayfair started by adopting Drive and Google Docs and eventually replaced all their legacy tools. Every month, they host more than 150,000 meetings in Google Meet, ranging from just a few participants to hundreds. They've capitalized the seamless flows from Google Docs to chat to meet in Workspace, allowing their teams to get work done no matter where they are. Attracting and retaining talent is top of mind for many of us as we prepare for tomorrow's workforce. A new study stated that 75% of recent college graduates prefer working in Google Workspace. There are thousands of engineers across Google working to deliver on the Workspace mission. Every year, we double the pace of innovation. This year alone, we delivered over 300 powerful new features to help teams get things done. But there's so much more to come. And today, I'm excited to announce new ways in which we're making Workspace 
even more powerful. Capabilities like adaptive framing give everyone in a crowded conference room a chance to be seen. We've also introduced auto transcriptions in Meet, not just in English, but soon in French, German, Portuguese, and Spanish. Today, I'm excited to share that we're bringing Smart Canvas to more places in workspace, starting with Google Slides. With Speaker Spotlight in Slides, we're bringing the storyteller and the story together for a far more integrated, engaging view, creating focus and engagement. I am thrilled to announce that we're opening up Smart Canvas for third-party applications. New smart chips for Salesforce, Zendesk, Figma, and other partners will allow people to view and engage with this rich third-party data in the flow of the work rather than switching tabs or context. Our groundbreaking client-side encryption feature allows customers to have complete control over access to their data. Today, we're excited to announce that we are extending client-side encryption to Gmail and Google Calendar. We're introducing APIs for Meet and Chat and a Meet add-on SDK that allows you to bring the power of these tools directly into the third-party apps that you're using every day. Our partners, Figma and Asana, are using that new SDK to embed their apps directly into Meet. The new Figma add-on will enable teams to collaborate on Figma design files and FigJam digital whiteboards directly in Google Meet. And finally, we're bringing AppSheet and Google Chat together so that users can interact with custom AppSheet apps right within the chat that they're already using. I am psyched by how we can help users and customers today, and I am so excited by where we're headed. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. We hope you check out the on-demand content and the breakout sessions for much more on Workspace. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.